My name is Professor Paul Manger. I'm a research professor at Wits University. I study brain and behaviour in a range of different mammals. When elephants are studied in captivity, it was found they slept about four to six hours a night. And the, the technology wasn't available in order to study them in the wild in their natural habitat. So with the advent of, of technology like the scientific equivalence of the Fitbit, we could actually go and study the elephants in the wild and, and, and try to understand their sleep in the wild. So we went to Chobe National Park and we anesthetized a couple of elephants and implanted a Fitbit under the skin of the trunk. And we made the assumption that when the trunk wasn't moving for five minutes, the elephants were asleep. So we recorded the elephants for 35 days, removed the data logger and looked at the data. And to our surprise, the elephants were only sleeping about two hours a day. When we look at sleep across different mammals, generally the larger body mammals sleep less than the smaller body mammals. So we had the idea that elephants should be the shortest sleeping mammals because they're the largest. Why this occurs, we're not really sure. Sleep is one of those really unusual mysteries of biology. But along with eating and reproduction, it's one of the biological imperatives. We must sleep to survive. So elephants that were studied in captivity were found to lie down for a lot of the time that they're asleep, up to three to four hours a day. However, in the wild, most of their sleep was while they were standing, and they only lay down to sleep every three or four days. One of the more unexpected findings we had was that on five of the 70 nights we recorded sleep from two elephants, they didn't sleep at all. Interestingly, during these nights, they appeared to be disturbed at around 7.30, 8 o'clock at night, and then they'd walk for about 30 or 40 kilometers away. These nights without sleep, appear to correlate to potential nights where there was predation events, where lions might have been trying to attack the herd, or maybe a, a musk bull elephant was, was chasing the female herd, or again, there might have been poachers. Sleeping different animals is a very plastic phenomenon. For example, in whales and dolphins, they'll sleep with half their brain at a time. So half the brain will be asleep for about an hour, then the other half of the brain will be asleep for about an hour. And they swap sides of the brain so they get about eight hours sleep a night, which is a lot more than what the elephant sleeps. Going without sleep has a lot of problems. Even short term without sleep can cause brain damage and disorientation and so on. So we know we need to sleep, but we don't know why. In humans, there's a disease called fatal familiar insomnia. So if you don't sleep for about six months, this leads to permanent brain damage and eventual loss of life. So sleep is one of those really life-sustaining things that we all need, and we all have to have, and all animals sleep. Elephants are no exception to that. Okay.